The ongoing computer chip shortage continues to plague the auto industry and Toyota is finally taking a hit. The automaker has slashed its September output by 40%. Well, that's 360,000 cars from its previous plan. It becomes the last major automaker to make cuts due to the shortage. Toyota's success in navigating the shortage has been due to having a larger stockpile of the chips to begin with. The automaker reiterated that it is going to still hit its annual sales and production targets, though, even with the cuts. The one-time home of Malcolm X will be restored in the city of Inkster. The organization Project We Hope, Dream and Believe was awarded a grant to restore the home on William Street. Funding will be used to transform it into a museum that highlights the history and contributions of the civil rights leader. Researchers say Malcolm X lived there in the 1950s and became a minister in the city. Malcolm's biography is, is, is really not complete without, uh, without really honing in on his life here in Inkster. You know, he came here as a young man, and it is from Inkster that he launched his career, okay, in the in the public sphere. Again, it's where Malcolm becomes. It's 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 where Malcolm goes from being Malcolm Little to being Malcolm X. The renovation and preservation project is supported through an African American Civil Rights Grant and administered by the National Park Service. Former head of Michigan's Health and Human Services Department may soon have a new job at the White House. President Biden has nominated Robert Gordon to a post with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Gordon served as the director of MDHHS under Governor Whitmer until that abrupt resignation back in January of this year. If the Senate confirms his nomination, Gordon would become the Assistant Secretary for Financial Resources for HHS. New at 530.